I'm Mark Gaylor from markgaylor.com and you've joined me inside of the develop module of Lightroom which is my preferred raw editing uh, program of choice. Now uh, a lot of people uh, tell me that they prefer Capture One because the colors are better in that program and I actually don't think that that is actually a, a true statement because um, the differences we often see between the two programs is that Capture One decides to choose a starting point or a profile that gives the images a lot more color saturation. Now if I open up the camera calibration tab you'll see that uh, the, pr the starting profile inside of Lightroom is called Adobe Standard and it is indeed a very flat starting profile. A lot of photographers prefer to start with this flat profile but if uh, you're not one of those photographers you like a little bit more pop to your images then we can actually switch the Adobe standard to your camera standard and here I'll make that change uh, to the camera standard and as you can see we've uh, basically breathed a lot more saturation into the images by choosing the camera standard as the starting point. Now a couple of other things that happens with a program like Capture One is um, they cook the raw uh, data a little bit more than Lightroom does. Uh, for instance you might find images inside of Capture One appear a little bit sharper and so uh, we can actually increase the default sharpening inside of Lightroom uh, from 25 uh, to 50 in order to um, sort of match or give the images the appearance uh, uh, starting appearance that the images are actually captured sharper in camera. We can also protect the smooth areas of um, the information such as the sky from any of the sharpening effects by raising the masking slider. If I hold down the Alt Option key and raise that to um, a value of around about 50 you'll see that we've protected those smooth areas from the sharpening process. Another area of difference that I've noticed between Capture One and Lightroom is the um, smoother areas of tone are indeed a little bit smoother and that is primarily due to the fact that um, Capture One applies a little bit of noise reduction even to low ISO images and so if you're wanting to replicate if you want a cleaner smooth continuous tones uh, then you can just raise that noise reduction to a level of around about 15. Now instead of uh, having to or having to remember to apply all of those uh, starting point settings you can simply hold down the Alt Option key and override Adobe's default. So I can click on Set Default here and uh, then choose Update to Current Settings. I'll just uh, cancel that out because there are uh, there is another group of settings that you may choose to uh, write into that default, and that is in the lens corrections. For instance, if you're uh, if you haven't programmed your camera to remove chromatic aberration and correct for distortions, then you can do that here. Now you can check both of these boxes, and you can basically this has picked up the lens profile nicely, and we can certainly write that into the new default as well. Now it won't change existing images in your library but any future images coming from uh, this uh, camera will have these settings uh, um, applied automatically and this will become your new default. So if I just hold down the Alt Option key again hit the set default and then update to current settings. Now uh, if you read this sentence here please note that these changes are not undoable that may uh, encourage you to hit the cancel button but uh, actually uh, these changes are undoable if we come back into this dialog and hit restore Adobe default settings I'm going to just hit the uh, update to current settings. Now what will happen is if I hit the reset, if I make any changes to the image and hit reset, it resets to these new default settings. Okay, so as we can see, um, these become the new defaults um, for this particular camera. If for any reason I do want to go back to that Adobe standard, then I am just going to hold down the Option key again, or the Alt key on a PC, hit the Set Default, and Restore Adobe Defaults. 
Okay, let's just move forward and take a look at uh, another image here. Here's the uh, an image, a portrait image, and as you can see from this particular image, um, I am pretty much using uh, no uh, settings in this, uh, just to show you that when we actually hit uh, on the camera calibration and choose to use the camera standard this time this is a Sony camera we'll hit camera standard and again you'll see um, the colors are markedly different from the Adobe standard and again uh, because the uh, the defaults for the previous camera are only applied to that previous camera then I'm going to have to update the defaults on this different camera Okay, if, um, if you also want to get a, a much more accurate starting point, and it's very much a, a level playing field if you choose to make this next choice, is if you um, profile your camera uh, specifically to one of these color checkers, this one's an X-Rite Passport, um, you can create what's called a dual illuminant profile. You basically capture uh, this passport uh, once in um, daylight and once in sunlight and then you can write a profile and choose this as the new image. So if I uh, have profiled my camera instead of choosing camera standard I can choose my make of camera that that device creates for me. Okay and so this will become uh, my starting point that I will choose uh, for this particular Sony camera. So there you have it. Um, just uh, if you're not happy with that flat Adobe standard profile you are able to start uh, with a new standard or default uh, that you choose. Okay, thanks for listening. I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. Uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you found this information remotely useful. Okay, thanks.